So again, we are coming to you live from El Dazo Sports Park. Yep, Chang Gang is going to be working on on the markers over on the cr on the on the opposite side of the field. Okay, we're ready to go. Again, Kevin Aro on the call. You're watching Rio Sports Live, and some more technical difficulties over with the Chain Gang. The South Texas Generals will open the game on defense. Kind of have a New England Patriot look to them. A little red, white, and blue mixture. They are the two-time defending champion of the XFFL. They were able to beat the Cobras in last year's championship game. And went on a streak of two years of going undefeated until they lost their first game last year. Daniel Villapano is the head coach for the Generals. All right, now we're good to go. All right, let's get this thing underway. The Empire starting with the football. And the snap's going to go over the quarterback's head, and she's going to fall on it. And a flag will come in. It looks like it's going to be offsides on the defense. And it is. Again, bear with us. There's a lot of wind out here in the, at the sports park. That's a rather loud, loud whistle or a buzzer. <laughs> One of the two. Kenya Gonzalez, the quarterback for the Empire. And she'll call her own number here. And it looks like a somewhat of a sort of a slot T or some kind of wing T. The snap will go well over the quarterback's head and she'll have to fall on it. Big loss of down. It's going to be recovered by Daisy Ramirez of the Generals. High snap over Wellford's head. And it'll be a turnover. At the 25 yard line so the turnover will be deep in general's territory right here and it shows me that it's there. Check, check, one, two. Generals with the ball. Angela Gomez, the quarterback. It'll be a handoff on the jet sweep by Brenda Montemayor. Trying to sort out the audio here. I'm 
trying to. So the generals have the ball going from right to left. So there's 12 minute quarters and it's a running clock unless the players run out of bounds. There's the marker. It's third down coming up for the generals. 12 minute quarters and in the second and fourth quarter in the final five minutes the clock will then stop. Andrea Salazar the tailback. Angela Gomez, the quarterback. Snappy looking uniforms for the Generals. And run a slant route over the middle. Cut for the touchdown. <laughs> Selena Garza running the slant route beautifully. And Gomez put it on a dime. So now they'll be, looks like they're going for two. And the misdirection handoff, the ball's fumbled. They're recovered by the Generals and the conversion is no good, but it's six nothing. Generals, fix the scoreboard there. We, it's six nothing Generals. We had the score swapped there. General six, Empire nothing. And again, we do have a running clock. Some XF, XFFL rules there. Running clock, and in the, the final five minutes of the second and fourth quarter, the clock will then stop on either a timeout or an incomplete pass, or if the player were to run out of bounds. So not a strong start from the Empire. First drive resulted in a high snap. And here's the kick. And the Generals are going to have good field position, taking this one all the way down the sideline to the 30, call it the 28-yard line, was Lily Dominguez. Rather, that was Kerry Walford. They got two sets of numbers here on the roster. They have a number to the left and a number to the right. The number to the right is their jersey number. The number to the left is just numerical order. That would cause a little bit of confusion there. But the Generals did play Kingsville last year in the playoffs, so there's definitely some familiarity there. Maria Levaya is out of the shotgun, she'll take the snap. She's gonna take this one to the right, out of the shotgun, breaking one tackle. Picking up good yardage there on first down, and she's gonna find the end zone. All knotted up at six after a Good kick return from Walford set up the Empire well. Now a timeout on the field taken by the Empire. We're going to take a timeout up here. You're watching Real Sports Live. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. 6-6 six, six game in the first quarter. Gonzalez now playing quarterback and there's gonna be an approachment or an offsides called on the defense. We're gonna try it again.
Now the Empire will huddle up again, and they're going to try and draw up a play here. We're all tied up, 6-6. Six, six. About midway through the first quarter, so we... We do know one thing, and it is week one of XFFL Extreme Female Football League. The league kicking off today. Tommy McDaniel now will line up right under center. A hard count from McDaniel. Quarterback sneak. She'll get in. So it's a 7-6 Empire lead. We're watching Real Sports Live. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. Welcome back to Rio Sports Live from El Dazo Sports Park in Edinburgh, Texas. On a windy but cool afternoon. Some rain clouds here, but doesn't look like it'll affect too much. The Empire got on the board. They'll be kicking away from left to right. Seven six Empire lead. And it'll be a short kickoff, and the ball will go out of bounds. Here comes a flag right in front of us. So the Generals will have their second possession. The official here confirming that they did go for one. So it is a 7-6 Empire lead here in the first quarter. So we're battling the wind. We have a front row seat here as well. So back comes Gomez and company on offense. Salazar will be the tailback. The official's trying to figure out where the ball will be spotted and they'll spot it and it'll be first down. Right at about the 49, half, 50 yard line, call it. Empire showing blitz. That'll be a handoff to Salazar. She gets tripped up. Picks up a yard, maybe two. So again, these generals definitely have some confidence in them coming in, having won back-to-back -back titles. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast that they went two years straight of an unbeaten streak until last season. It was quite an impressive run from these generals. Generals are made up from girls from across the valley when I asked where are these girls from and they just said all over Callan, Edinburgh, Harlingen, Neferia, Gomez back to pass. That pass is incomplete. In and out of the hands of Brenda Montemayor. Had her open. Still would have been shy of the first down, but nonetheless it's looking at third down. And that play will bring us to the into the first quarter is what the officials are signaling. So we're going to swap flip fields here. At the end of the first quarter, the Empire have a 7-6 lead. Now you'll be going into the wind. Generals lining up. Facing a third down, third and manageable. They were able to score on their first possession. Now the Generals are going from left to right here to start the second quarter. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is week one of the XFFL Extreme Female Football League. 
hosted by Texas Valley Sports. We're coming to you live from Meadowbrook, Texas. That's going to be a false start. Michelle Benavides was lined up as a tight end right off to the right tackle there. Moved a little bit too early. So that'll back him up five yards and we'll do it again. Another third down. The sun's starting to peek out here. The sun has been coming and going, but nonetheless, a, a windy, pleasant afternoon here in Edinburgh. Third and long coming up for the Generals. Gomez out of the gun, and now the whistles will come in. And the General is going to want to talk it over. Third and long coming up. They trail by one. You're watching Real Sports Live. a treat before or after the big game then when in harlogen stop in at the scoop ice cream parlor and deli and treat yourself to some amazing things ice creams shakes sundaes banana splits and that's just a sample if you can dream it they can make it at the scoop in harlogen from the deli comes a variety of sandwiches that is sure to bring you back for more hamburgers and hot dogs served every day open tuesday through saturday 11 to 7 sundays from 12 to 6 on F Street in Harlingen, it's the Scoop Ice Cream Parlor in Delhi. Hi, we're the Lady Tigers, and thank you for watching Real Sports. Welcome back to El Dazo Sports Park in Edinburgh, Texas. After the timeout, the Generals facing a third and long. They trail by one to kick off this second quarter. Generals got on the board early with a six-nothing lead. On a touchdown pass to Selena Garza. Facing a third and long, Gomez, the quarterback. Motion man is Montemayor. And it'll be a pass, deep ball over the middle, and that's going to be incomplete. Arthur was the defender, guarding Garza closely. Now to be fourth down. Decision time for the Generals. Fourth down play coming up. Interesting to see what the Generals can draw up, whether they punt it away or they'll elect to go for it. Nonetheless, it'll be fourth down. Brenda, rather, Chanel Barbosa will be the back to the left. Motion man will be Montemayor. It'll be a jet sweep to Montemayor. Tries to make a man miss and a great open field tackle. from Tommy McDaniel. And we do have a player down, so we're gonna go ahead and take a timeout. You're watching Rio Sports Live. Hi fans, today's game is brought to you by New York Life. Best of luck to your team. And I'm Danielle Goslin, and I'm a partner with New York Life Insurance Company. For over 170 years, New York Life has built a reputation of developing the most successful professionals in the industry. We help to manage the process from day one and guide you on your way to success. If you're looking to challenge yourself and build an insurance and financial service business, then we would like to show you how we can help. This game is brought to you in part by the concession stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the concession stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Rio Sports Live is the concession stand. Welcome back to Rio Sports Live. Kevin Arrow on the call. And after an injury on the field, the Empire will have the ball and a one point lead. They're set up nicely. Deep inside general territory. Now to see what the Empire draw up. They themselves have some pretty neat uniforms with the lion on the left leg. Maria Levea, number seven, will line up at quarterback. Splitting out wide is Walford. We've said her name 
a couple of times here tonight. Hand off to the left side and a good open field tackle from Daphne Partida. Monique Reyes was actually the one lining up under center. It was the first time that the Empire do have someone line up under center. They've been particularly out of the shotgun or a wildcat. And in a bunch formation is what they had been doing. They mixed it up there. See, now they're swapping it up again to a power formation. Four backs in the backfield. And the direct snap. Picks up a couple yards. Is Gonzalez. So from Gonzalez to Reyes, we're seeing a very uh, a different combination of ball handlers here. Kind of like a, I mean, it reminds me of a nasty slot if you want to compare offenses and what it looks like. That's an offense that a lot of teams in the Valley are not familiar with when it comes to at least high school football. Third down coming up for the Empire, deep in general territory. Midway through the second quarter, 7-6, Empire with the lead. And it's Reyes out of the gun. She'll step back to pass. Here comes the blitz, floats this one up, and that's going to be caught all the way down to the goal line. In for the touchdown. Walford again. Finds the end zone. The Empire will elect to go for one and a direct snap right back up the middle. They did not get it. Gonzalez on the direct snap. So a 13-6 Empire lead. The Generals looking to muster up a comeback midway through the second quarter. You're watching Real Sports Live. Welcome back to Real Sports Live from El Dazo Sports Park in Edinburgh, Texas. It's a 13-6 Empire lead after the Generals jumped out to a 6-0 lead. 13 unanswered from the Empire here late in the second quarter. The Empire shook off that disastrous opening drive with its snap going over Walford's head. And the Generals took full advantage of it, but since then... They've been outscored 13 to nothing. End over end kick. Returned by the Generals. They're going to have good starting field position as Denise Reyna gives the Generals some momentum here. So again, this is week one of the Extreme Female Football League hosted by Texas Valley Sports. The Empire will host the Cobras next week, February 15th. So the playoffs, I know it's a week away. We're looking at the schedule through February, March, and April. The playoffs will begin May 2nd, the wild card round. May 9th will be the semis. May 16th will be the championship. Hand off to Montemayor. It should be stuffed in the backfield. Good open field tackled by McDaniel. She's had herself a game. So nothing wrong with looking ahead. Week three, the Empire will look with Cobras at the Empire and then the Empire at the Vixens. Week three, that one should be a good one. The RG, uh, the RGB Vixens, a well-known team here, coming over from 
the IWFA and Montemayor again will take the handoff. Not a lot of running room. This defense for the Empire starting to buckle down here towards the end of the first half. So again, the wild card round will begin May 2nd. May 9th will be the semis. May 16th will be the championship. Leo Reina, Reina, the coach for the Empire, shout out to him for providing me with a roster and along with Coach Villaparo's group of the Generals also hooking me up with a team roster. So it's a 13-6 Empire lead in case you're just tuning in on Real Sports Live. We launched our tab yesterday or we got the print on Thursday and we we're able to distribute them out to the high schools and local businesses on Friday we did leave a stack at the front here as people can walk in they can take their copy delayed handoff to Montemayor showing off the speed down the sideline into the end zone Brenda Montemayor puts the generals on the board Thirteen twelve the score. The generals have an opportunity to either tie it or take the lead here. Looks like they're gonna they're gonna elect to go for one for the tie. Angela Gomez the quarterback. And util utilizing the speed of Montemayor throughout this first half and just sticking to their game plan really and the Empire they have a mascot out here at the Lion been running up and down Gomez back to pass over the middle wide open on the slant route is Michelle Benavides They're all tied up at 13. Generals able to answer back after being outscored 13 to nothing. They get a good kick return and then a nice run from Montemayor to set them up beautifully. And then the call it the one point conversion. There are no there are no extra points. You either go for one or for two. Generals tied this thing up 13-13. It was a two-pointer, okay. So it's a 14-13 lead. All right, they went for two. So the Generals have a one-point lead. Kind of hard to tell from the from the field view. They went for one or for two. Normally the officials will signal whether they're going to go for one or go for two. So with the wind being a factor here this afternoon, Samantha Salasad is trying to place the football to where it won't move. Might have to have someone hold it, but she's got it. Salasad to kick off, 14-13, Generals with the lead kicking into the wind. And it'll be a short kickoff, and it'll be a loose football picked up by the Empire. Walford, again, who we have said her name all afternoon long. So it'll be good starting field position for the Empire. They trail by one. They've been, they've been able to score on their last two drives. Now they're trying to retake the lead. Pretty even keeled matchup here. Avea to take the snap. She'll call her own number, running to the left, trying to break it to the outside, and chased down from behind by Ramirez. This defense can play some football for the general. They're very 
well-rounded group when it comes to tackling. Five Haven't minutes. missed a lot of tackle. Five minutes left in the first half. Now we get to the point where that's going to be a false start. So a false start on the Empire. So we're, we're at the point in the second and fourth quarter. In the final five minutes, the clock will now stop. The 12-minute quarter. You can say it balances out when you have a running clock for the first half of the quarter and then and then you get to the point when you're in the final five minutes where the clock will stop on an incomplete pass or the timeout or simply the player running out of bounds. Empire looking to get the penalty yardage back. Clock stopped because they went out of bounds. See, the clock will stop there because the Empire went out of bounds. Levada again, the quarterback on that last run. She was able to take it out of bounds. Now Walford out of the gun. She'll drop the football, pick it back up, chase from behind, a nice stiff arm, but a good open field tackle. From Guerra, the defensive end, number 90. They're facing a fourth down. That was a big play on third down from Guerra. Now it looks like we're going to get an official timeout. So a timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout up here. The Generals lead the Empire 14 to 13. You are watching Rio Sports Live. See the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles, how about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. Inmates, you are now property of Cell Block X. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. Kevin Aro on the call from El Dazo Sports Park in Edinburgh, Texas. Fourth down coming up for the Empire. It'll be a false start. Arthur got a little too antsy there and she'll be guilty of the false start. Now they're going to make a substitution. Gonzalez will check into the game. Tommy McDaniel with a hard count and it'll be she'll call her own number it's a direct snap breaking tackles all the way for the first down or did I don't know about correction she did not make the first down I got the markers mixed up excuse me it'll be a turnover on downs I seen the first marker here the second marker is kind of it's not completely up so that marker can go missing behind the helmets and the <laughs> and the shoulder pads I'm not sure if they can fix that marker if you can see it on our camera it's kind of it's flimsy it's kind of can't see it completely so the only marker I saw was the one where McDaniel reached and see now you really can't see that marker at all behind the first down marker in the official so Apologize on that one. Gomez over the middle. Caught. What a catch. Michelle Benavides. So a stop on fourth down, and the Generals will have the ball, and the sun again peeks out as we reach the 4 o'clock hour.
Montemayor lined up to the right at wide receiver. Gomez gives a handoff, breaking the tackle. Is Barbosa. Looks like she got maybe one yard, maybe a yard and a half. Three minutes. Right, the three minute mark here in the first half. 14 13, Generals lead. After the touchdown and two point try was good. Gomez gets the call and she'll jog back onto the field. Barbosa out of the back. They'll hand it off to her. She's coming right our way. Breaks one tackle and another and gets out of bounds. That'll be enough for a first down. So both Barbosa and Montemayor providing a strong run game here for the Generals. Gomez and Barbosa in the backfield, Montemayor. They'll fake the jet sweep and hand it off to Barbosa. She'll be tackled right in front of us, and it'll be a two minute warning. Generals facing a second down. So we, we have reached the two minute warning from Edinburgh, Texas. Timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout up here. Generals lead by one. This game is brought to you in part by the concession stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the concession stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Rio Sports Live is the concession stand. Our professional advisors at Employee Retirement Service have been providing financial and retirement planning for many years for employees of different employment. If you've spent your career in education and are ready for the next chapter, let the professionals at Employment Retirement Services help. You've worked hard, and now it's time to relax and enjoy with peace of mind and security. Help fulfill your retirement needs. Come experience the difference with us. And let's plan your retirement together. Call us at 956-440-8774 to schedule your appointment today. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. Aldazo Sports Park, second down. Gomez with a hard count. After the two minute warning, a 14-13 Generals lead. And now another timeout, this time called by the Generals. So after the two minute warning, the Generals went with a hard count facing a second down. They lead by one. We're gonna go ahead and take a timeout on the field. We are watching Real Sports Live. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. After the timeout, we are back. Gomez and the Generals facing a second down, talking to her running back, Montemayor. See what the Generals have drawn up here. The Empire lead by one, 14 to 13, under two minutes to go in the first half. Gomez out of the shotgun gets the signal. 
Gomez looking back to pass. Swing route. Salazar is tackled immediately in the open field by Gonzalez. Not enough for the first down. So a third down coming up. And the Generals can really take their time here. They have the lead and the ball. Clock continues to run. Gomez again out of the gun. Montemayor to the right. Garza lined up to the right of us. She scored the opening touchdown. Gomez went her way. She's going to go back her way, and it's going to be overthrown. She originally, originally looked for Garza. Then went to her check down, then found Garza again deep at the post, but wasn't able to connect. So now we're facing a fourth down. Fourth down and call it at about 10, 11 yards. We'll go with 11. Ball at the 44 yard line. Gomez is going to be looking back to pass. She's going to fire this one deep, and it's going to be overshot. Andrea Salazar, the intended wide receiver. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Gomez had her man open. That was Andrea Salazar, just overshot her. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Well under two minutes to go here in the first half. Generals holding on to a one-point lead. They began the scoring, took an early 6-0 lead on the turnover, and the Empire came right back, scored 13 unanswered. Then Montemayor found the end zone and converted on, two, on a two-point conversion to take the one-point lead, and that's where we are at now. So a penalty called against the Empire will push them back. So they'll have the just about the length of the field to go. They trail by one. McDaniel, one of two backs in the backfield. McDaniel and Wolford are the tailbacks, and Wolford will take the handoff, and she'll be tackled immediately by Daisy Ramirez. Ramirez with a nice open field tackle. Second down coming up. Generals trying to hold on to the lead and the momentum before they head into the locker rooms. Back to pass, over the top and incomplete. Gonzalez was the intended wide receiver. Twenty-one seconds left in the half. The clock stops on the incomplete pass. It's third down. McDaniel will be the quarterback. Gonzalez to her left. She'll fake the handoff and she'll call her own number. She's got plenty of room, gets a block. And another good open field tackle from Ramirez. And 20 seconds with that timeout. 20 seconds left in the half now, and a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout up here. 
Empire on the move. They trail by one. You are watching Real Sports Live. At San Benito Vision Source, the optometry staff works around your busy schedule and take the time to answer your questions and concerns prior to a visit. Dr. Jaime Rodriguez and Dr. Laura Loki offering full vision examinations, diagnostics, and treatment of array of eye diseases and conditions to keep your eyes healthy. Call the friendly staff today with questions or schedule a consultation. San Benito Vision Source. Welcome back to Real Sports Live after the timeout. The action right here in front of us, and that's there's gonna be a flag on the play. The flag was thrown before the play started, so we'll see what the call is. So the call is gonna go against the defense, and it's gonna be a first down regardless. So the penalty is gonna be declined. Gonzalez caught the pass on the slant route. Looks like they have a Florida Lee on their shoulders. Logo resembling the Saints logo, and the ball's gonna be fumbled. Confusion on the handoff. Dominique Reyes fumbled the football. Luckily for the Empire, they're able to recover it, and that's how the first half will come to an end. The Generals lead the Empire 14 to 13 in week one of XFFL action. You're watching Rio Sports Live as we head to the halfway point. Hi, we're the Lady Diamondbacks, and thank you for watching Rio Sports Live. Hacienda Ford. Hacienda has it. Has what? Low monthly payments, a friendly buying process, and customer service like no other. It's simply a different way. It's a car buying experience you'll enjoy. With a huge Ford selection like Ford F-150s, Mustangs, Explorers, Escapes, the Ford Raptor, and a whole bunch more, buying a new Ford should be fun, and that's why we do it. Come see the difference at Hacienda Ford. Hacienda, Hacienda has it. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles in San Benito. Nava with Westago East High School. Thank you for watching Rio Sports Live. At HCISD, we move the needle forward every day. We'll blaze a trail for future generations. It's not just about equipping students with skills for the future. We awaken their potential and empower them to make good choices. No matter where you're from or where you're headed, there's a place for you to flourish at HCISD. Hi, we're Kitty Bay Ladies Bears, and thank you for watching Real Sports Live. Go! Internet is more than just uploads and downloads, it's about connecting people. VTX1 Companies is here for you, bringing communities closer together. VTX1 has connected customers for almost 70 years. Our internet service spans across South Texas to some of the most remote areas. Faster wireless service is now available in Brownsville, Rio Hondo, San Carlos, and Los Indios. Call 1-800-446-2031 or visit vtx1.net to find out more.
TVNS specializes in provider services, respite care, and emergency response services. TVNS are pioneers in the home care industry, in service for over 37 years. 11 locations from Brownsville to Corpus Christi, from Harlingen to Laredo. Today's game is sponsored by TVNS, the pioneers in serving our community with the highest quality in provider services. Fans, if you want to look your best at the next game, then let Chewy's Custom Sports go to work for you. From custom designs and graphics to mass production in-house. If it's hats, shirts, buttons, mugs, cups, banners, and more, then Chewy's is there for every team and every sport. A veteran-owned company in touch with the community. It's Chewy's Custom Sports in San Benito. Every great dining adventure begins with one word, fresh. At the Sea Ranch, we combine a fresh, inviting atmosphere with chef-inspired cuisine prepared from the freshest local shrimp, oysters, snapper, and mahi-mahi. Our salmon, Alaskan king crab, and live Maine lobsters are flown in fresh. A local favorite for over 30 years, the Sea Ranch. Come enjoy a fresh experience. Hacienda Ford. Hacienda has it. Has what? Low monthly payments, a friendly buying process, and customer service like no other. It's simply a different way. It's a car buying experience you'll enjoy. With a huge Ford selection like Ford F-150s, Mustangs, Explorers, Escapes, the Ford Raptor, and a whole bunch more. Buying a new Ford should be fun, and that's why we do it. Come see the difference at Hacienda Ford. Hacienda, Hacienda has it. HCISD, we move the needle forward every day. We'll blaze a trail for future generations. It's not just about equipping students with skills for the future. We awaken their potential and empower them to make good choices. No matter where you're from or where you're headed, there's a place for you to flourish at HCISD. This game is brought to you in part by the concession stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the concession stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Rio Sports Live is the concession stand. Hi fans, today's game is brought to you by New York Life. Best of luck to your team. And I'm Danielle Goslin, and I'm a partner with New York Life Insurance Company. For over 170 years, New York Life has built a reputation of developing the most successful professionals in the industry. We help to manage the process from day one and guide you on your way to success. If you're looking to challenge yourself and build an insurance and financial service business, then we would like to show you how we can help. Memories, antiques, and collectibles located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories, antiques, and collectibles in San Benito. 
Forever Memories, antiques and collectibles located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories, antiques and collectibles in San Benito. Every great dining adventure begins with one word, fresh. At the Sea Ranch, we combine a fresh, inviting atmosphere with chef-inspired cuisine prepared from the freshest local shrimp, oysters, snapper, and mahi-mahi. Our salmon, Alaskan king crab, and live Maine lobsters are flown in fresh. A local favorite for over 30 years, the Sea Ranch. Come enjoy a fresh experience. Professional advisors at Employee Retirement Service have been providing financial and retirement planning for many years for employees of different employment. If you've spent your career in education and are ready for the next chapter, let the professionals at Employment Retirement Services help. You've worked hard, and now it's time to relax and enjoy with peace of mind and security. Help fulfill your retirement needs. Come experience the difference with us. And let's plan your retirement together. Call us at 956-440-8774 to schedule your appointment today. At San Benito Vision Source, the optometry staff works around your busy schedule and take the time to answer your questions and concerns prior to a visit. Dr. Jaime Rodriguez and Dr. Laura Loki offering full vision examinations, diagnostics, and treatment of array of eye diseases and conditions to keep your eyes healthy. Call the friendly staff today with questions or schedule a consultation. San Benito Vision Source. At HCISD, we move the needle forward every day. We'll blaze a trail for future generations. It's not just about equipping students with skills for the future. We awaken their potential and empower them to make good choices. No matter where you're from or where you're headed, there's a place for you to flourish at HCISD. Hacienda Ford. Hacienda has it. Has what? Low monthly payments, a friendly buying process, and customer service like no other. It's simply a different way. It's a car buying experience you'll enjoy. With a huge Ford selection like Ford F-150s, Mustangs, Explorers, Escapes, the Ford Raptor, and a whole bunch more. Buying a new Ford should be fun, and that's why we do it. Come see the difference at Hacienda Ford. Hacienda, Hacienda has it. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles, how about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. Hi, we're Sherry Land Rattlers, and thank you for watching Real Sports Live. TVNS specializes in provider services, respite care, and emergency response services. TVNS are pioneers in the home care industry, in service for over 37 years. 11 locations from Brownsville to Corpus Christi, from Harlingen to Laredo. Today's game is sponsored by TVNS, the pioneers in serving our community with the highest quality in provider services.
Hi, I'm Rebecca Castillo. I invite you to visit San Benito and see for yourself the many things this community has to offer. Our offices of economic development offer a variety of business resources to developers, investors, and business owners from small to large scale. Contact us and let us work together on your next business opportunity. Hi, I'm Rebecca Castillo. I invite you to visit San Benito and see for yourself the many things this community has to offer. Our offices of economic development offer a variety of business resources to developers, investors, and business owners from small to large scale. Contact us and let us work together on your next business opportunity. Welcome back to Real Sports Live from El Dazo Sports Park in Edinburgh, Texas. Week one of the XFFL Extreme Female Football League. Hosted by Texas Valley Sports, Kevin Aro on the call. John Fuentes to my left, running the camera. Second half underway. The Generals lead the Empire 14 to 13. And the Empire will kick this one away from right to left. And will bounce out of the end zone, so it'll be a touchback, and that's how the second half will get underway. I want to thank everyone for tuning in on Real Sports Live, and it's week one, as I mentioned a moment ago of XFFL action. The Lynx and the Dolphins going at it in the IWFA just down the street at the Glazo Soccer Facility. So again, we're battling the wind here able to get these rosters taped up on our on my table here so going from left to right are the generals Yelly Rios the quarterback first time she takes a snap she's a lefty she has all day to throw steps back now she's flushed out of the pocket and she'll call her own number breaking a tackle breaking another all the way down for the first down Rios with a nice run there she had all day to throw. Picks up a first down on the first play of the second half. started the second half at quarterback she will stay in the game and the X factors for the generals in that first half was the speed of Brenda Montemayor and they're gonna hand this one off to Montemayor she gets back to the line of scrimmage Gonzalez with the tackle Chanel Barbosa, along with Montemayor, were two key factors in that first half of the Generals. Again, they jumped out to that early 6-0 lead. And the Empire came right back and scored 13 and answered. Then Montemayor found the end zone for the Generals, and the two-point conversion was good. So again, Brios, the quarterback, out of the gun. They're going with a hard count. Salazar in motion. Rios back to pass, sidearms it to Montemayor, and she, the pass will be incomplete, and there'll be, a, there'll be a flag on the play, and it'll be a, in the area of holding, and that's gonna be the call. Came from the back judge. So some of the featured matchups in the XFFL week one was the Texas Lady Spartans at Corpus Christi Divas. That game kicks off at 7 o'clock tonight at the STYFL football field in Corpus. So that game has a primetime slate. And then after that, the South Texas Cobras are at the Laredo Lady Warhawks. That game going on at the FC Dallas Soccer Complex out west in Laredo. Their kickoff is set for 7.30. So a pair of primetime games in week one 
and the XFFL, the Extreme Female Football League. Second down coming up for the Generals. Rios again out of the shotgun. Montemayor will fake the jet sweep. Going to throw the deep ball here up for Garza, and the flag will come in from the secondary. That's going to be passer in a passing interference. Selena Garza was the intended wide receiver, and that's an easy call for the officials. We had a 3.30 start. A little Saturday afternoon football. Got the afternoon slot. Of course, this was tab rivalry week by the XFFL. The Generals and the Empire going at it. And the rivalry is certainly living up to its hype as the Generals hold on to a one point lead here in the third quarter. Just the quarter there. Flipped it from a two to a three. And again, it's a 12 minute, 12 minute quarters. It's a running clock until we get to the five minute mark. They'll fake the jet sweep. Rios back to pass, flushed out. And the caller on number fumbles the football and it'll be picked up by the Empire. Helen McLarry was able to scoop up the loose football and there's going to be an injured general or rather an injured empire player down on the field so we're going to take a timeout there it'll be empire football when we return they trail by one you're watching rio sports live Child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. This close. We are this close to ending polio. To ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. This close. If we donate now, we may lose this chance forever. Help Rotary make history at endpoliomow.org. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. So after the turnover, it'll be the first turnover of the afternoon for the Generals. Promising drive was stalled there on the fumble from Rios. Ball was scooped up by McClary. Now the Empire will have the football. They're looking to regain the lead. They'll be going from right to left. McDaniel to the left of Reyes. Reyes looking back to pass. That passes up and it's intercepted and it's going to be a pick six. For the Generals, Andrea Roland. Talk about the, being at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Roland was able to pick that ball off. Looked as if the ball got knocked up in the air and she was right there for the taking. Took it in for the pick six. Now it's a 20 to 13 general lead. We'll see if they go for two or for one. Again, we're waiting for the officials to signal that. Now the Empire can take, extend their lead here. Barbosa in the backfield. Ball's fumbled by Rios. She's going to have to be flushed out of the pocket. She'll just throw this one up for grabs. Flag will come in from the secondary. That was an illegal man downfield, so the penalty will be declined. And it's a 20 to 13. General lead after the pick six. We're going to take a timeout. You're watching Rio Sports Live. At San Benito Vision Source, the optometry staff works around your busy schedule and take the time to answer your questions and concerns prior to a visit. 
Dr. Jaime Rodriguez and Dr. Laura Loki offering full vision examinations, diagnostics, and treatment of array of eye diseases and conditions to keep your eyes healthy. Call the friendly staff today with questions or schedule a consultation. San Benito Vision Source. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. Kevin Arnold on the call. John Fuentes to my left, running the camera. The clouds have seemed to have cleared up here in Edinburgh at the El Dazo Sports Park. The sun is out. There's also, I wouldn't say a breeze, but the wind continues to play a factor in this one. The Empire Trail 20 to 13 is your score midway through the third quarter. Tommy McDaniel out of the gun. With Wolford to her right. The Empire set up in good field position, going from right to left. And a good tackle. Not a lot of running room there from Samantha Salazar. She's been all over the place for this general defense. We are looking at the slate of games on the XFFL Facebook page. And today was game day across the league. We had mentioned earlier there are a pair of primetime games. The Texas Lady Spartans at the Corpus Christi Divas. That game scheduled for 7 o'clock. The Generals will call a timeout. The South Texas Cobras at the Laredo Lady Warhawks. That game is going to be played at the FC Dallas Soccer Complex in Laredo. Kickoff set for 7.30. And we have the game you're watching right now, Rivalry Week, as the XFFL tabbed it. The league owners promised that it would be a good one, and so far, so good. It's a 20 to 13 general lead. Kickoff was at 3.30, right on time. Then game of the week. That game's scheduled to kick off at 5 o'clock. That's the Vixens and the Phoenix Fire. That game's at 5. And San Benito at Stokey Park. Been there before. The Honeys and the... Clovers, they would play their games over in San Benny. Second down coming up. Back to the action here, 20 to 13. Empire Trail, hand off to the right side. That's Gonzalez with the ball. McDaniels taking over the quarterback duties here in this second half. McDaniel hurrying up the offense back to the line. Gonzalez will stay to her left. Third down coming up. We'll talk about the Vixens in just a bit. Gonzalez will take the handoff. No, it's Gonzalez is not going to take the handoff. It's going to be one of those misdirection runs, and McDaniel will call her own number. The Vixens taking on the Phoenix Fire. Ashley Flores, one of the bigger names on the Vixens, otherwise known as Dirty 30 from her IWFA days. I was talking with John about how the Vixens won that championship two years ago at the Galazzo Sports Park. S low snap. Gonzalez is going to fall on it. And it's going to be fourth down coming up. All right, it's going to be a turnover on down. Excuse me. So that was fourth down. Lost track of the downs there. XFFL power rankings. 
The league came out with a preseason rankings. Well, there are eight teams in the league. Someone was asking earlier, I saw on Facebook, there's eight teams in the league. We'll go from eight to one. We'll talk about the teams here in just a bit. Snap to Rio, steps back, fires this one up, diving and incomplete. Salazar, the intended wide receiver. From eight to one, they had the Spartans ranked at number eight. They had the Warhawks in at number seven. The Deep is at six, the Empire at five. The Vixens at four, the Cobras at three, the Fire at two, and the Generals at number one. So preseason rankings, of course, you have to go with the back-to-back -back champs. Omar. The Generals, the South Texas Generals, rather. You can see why they're ranked number one. Plenty of athleticism along the board. Rios, the lefty, slings this one over the middle, trying to haul it in with one hand was Garza, but that pass was thrown just behind her on the post route. So the Empire are ranked fifth in the preseason polls, taking on the number one team, the Generals. So if you want to look at it from a college football standpoint, you can be looking at the number five team taking on the number one team and a potential upset right out of the gate to kick off the XFFL season. Rios out of the gun. And a flag will come in. This is going to be a false start. False start on A.J. Jimenez, the left guard. That'll back him up just a bit. And of course, the preseason rankings. A lot of people look forward to those. Looking back to the preseason, the Divas beat the Warhawks 27-7. The Empire beat the Spartans 26-6. The Fire beat the Cobras 19-0. And the Generals beat the Vixens 19-6. And preseason action, Andrea Roland gets tripped up. That was how the preseason wrapped up. That was back on January 25th. So both the Empire and the Generals coming in to the regular season with a win and some momentum. Fourth down coming up. Game still in limbo here. Midway through the third quarter, the Generals lead 20 to 13. Now they're gonna call a timeout. Generals are going to call a timeout. So we're going to timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout up here. You're watching Rio Sports Live. has it has what low monthly payments a friendly buying process and customer service like no other it's simply a different way it's a car buying experience you'll enjoy with a huge ford selection like ford f-150s mustangs explorers escapes the ford raptor and a whole bunch more buying a new ford should be fun and that's why we do it come see the difference at hacienda ford hacienda, hacienda. Welcome back after the timeout to Eldazo Sports Park in Edinburgh. Midway through the third quarter. Fourth down coming up for the Generals. They're going from left to right. Scoreless are the Empire here in the third quarter. They're going to punt this one. It's going to be a high, yeah, short yeah, punt. So the only scoring came from the pick six from Andrea Roland earlier in the quarter been the only scoring here in the third quarter it's been a relatively quiet third quarter not as many fireworks as there were in the first half it's 
And last I checked, Joe Bowling was going to have the call over in San Benito between the Vixens and the Fire. So that game should be getting underway. Scheduled to start at 5 o'clock, so about 10 minutes away. They're going to re-kick here. Garza with a much better punt. But it's going to take a Empire bounce, and it'll be a touchback. So again, in later action tonight in the XFFL, the Texas Lady Spartans taking on Divas at Corpus Christi. 7 o'clock kickoff. And the final game of the week one schedule, the South Texas Cobras at the Laredo Lady Warhawks. That game's slated to start at 7.30 out west in Laredo. So we had some basketball action last night, the Bird Bowl down in Harlingen. The Harlingen Cardinals were able to complete the series sweep against the South Hawks. Cardinals improving to 5-2 and two in district play. Still remain two games back of unbeaten Los Fresnos, who also won. They're on the fast track for their sixth straight district title out of District 32-6A, and it's going to be a an offsides call. Gonzalez with the ball, breaking a tackle all the way down to the 50, right at the marker. She should have enough to pick up the first down, but it's going to be an offsides call regardless. That's going against the Generals. That was Jimenez who is guilty of the offsides call. Fresh set of downs for the Empire. They trail 20 to 13. Gonzalez will take the direct snap. Reyna comes in with a pack of generals. Her and teamed up with Ramirez. Able to get the gang tackle. And that's how the third quarter will come to an end. We head to the fourth and final quarter. As we head to the fourth quarter, the South Texas Generals lead the Kingsville Empire 20-13. to You're watching Rio Sports Live. At San Benito Vision Source, the optometry staff works around your busy schedule and take the time to answer your questions and concerns prior to a visit. Dr. Jaime Rodriguez and Dr. Laura Loki offering full vision examinations, diagnostics, and treatment of array of eye diseases and conditions to keep your eyes healthy. Call the friendly staff today with questions or schedule a consultation. San Benito Vision Source. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. Start of the fourth quarter, second down. Gonzalez out of the Wildcat. We'll call her own number, trying to find a lane, and does. Picks up good yardage there is Gonzalez. There's an injured general down on the, on the field. That's Denise Reyna. So with an injury timeout, we're going to take a timeout up here. Early fourth quarter, Generals lead the Empire 20 to 13. You're watching Rio Sports Live. You were watching Rio Sports Live. Woo! Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success a district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. Needing a treat before or after the big game? Then, when in Harlingen, stop in at the Scoop Ice Cream Parlor and Deli and treat yourself to some amazing things. 
ice creams, shakes, sundaes, banana splits, and that's just a sample. If you can dream it, they can make it at The Scoop in Harlingen. From the deli comes a variety of sandwiches that is sure to bring you back for more. Hamburgers and hot dogs served every day. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 7, Sundays from 12 to 6, on F Street in Harlingen. It's the Scoop Ice Cream Parlor and Deli. Hi fans, today's game is brought to you by New York Life. Best of luck to your team. And I'm Danielle Goslin, and I'm a partner with New York Life Insurance Company. For over 170 years, New York Life has built a reputation of developing the most successful professionals in the industry. We help to manage the process from day one and guide you on your way to success. If you're looking to challenge yourself and build an insurance and financial service business, then we would like to show you how we can help. This game is brought to you in part by the Concession Stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the Concession Stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Rio Sports Live is the Concession Stand. Lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? Welcome back to Real Sports Live. Early fourth quarter after the injury timeout. The Empire. Trail the South Texas Generals 20 to 13, and now the Generals are going to call a timeout. So, with that being said, we are going to take a timeout from up here. You are watching Real Sports Live. How about a 45 with a single? You just have to have Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano. It's all here. Organized and priced for you. Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. Inmates, you are now property of Cell Block X. This game is brought to you in part by the concession stand in Santa Rosa, a locally owned business providing a terrific atmosphere before or after the games and supporting athletes of all ages. When you're in Santa Rosa, be sure to stop by the concession stand and choose from the wide assortment of goodies. An advertising partner with Real Sports Live is the concession stand. Our professional advisors at Employee Retirement Service have been providing financial and retirement planning for many years for employees of different employers. If you've spent your career in education and are ready for the next chapter, let the professionals at Employment Retirement Services help. You've worked hard, and now it's time to relax and enjoy with peace of mind and security. Help fulfill your retirement needs. Come experience the difference with us. And let's plan your retirement together. Call us at 956-440-8774. Welcome back to Real Sports Live. Long touchdown run there from Walford, and that gets the Empire right back in this ball game. Gonzalez will take the snap. She'll call her number, trying to break it to the outside, but a pair of generals were there waiting for her, Daisy Ramirez. 
was there to make the tackle. So the conversion is no good. So it'll be 20 to 19 the score. Early stages of the fourth quarter. That was a big time run there from Walford. And yep, confirmed. It's a 20 to 19 score. Generals holding on to the one point lead. A big stop there. Empire, we're looking to tie the game now with these. With the field flipped, now the Empire will be kicking into the win, and you have to take that into consideration because now the Generals have an opportunity to get good field position here and add to their one-point lead. We'll see how it affects the, umpi the Empire. Monique Reyes will kick it off, and it doesn't matter. It's a long kick, and Montemayor will watch this one sail out of bounds. Well, there goes that theory all afternoon long. The team that was kicking into the wind, into the wind, the wind definitely played a factor in it, but didn't matter there for Reyes. So the Generals lead 20 to 19 middle stages of this fourth quarter and again coming into the coming into the season the preseason rankings the XFFL had the generals ranked number one and the Empire ranked fifth so with the penalty the ball did sail out of bounds a smart play by Montemayor there wasn't sure if where the ball was spotted but the referees got together and said the ball did go out of bounds so they'll re-kick re-kick here Montemayor back to receive in front of her at the 50 will be Daisy Ramirez Officials working out a clock issue. Empire kicking off from left to right. And here we go. And another long kickoff. Montemayor watch it sail behind her. We'll see if she elects to take it out. And she does. Running out of her own end zone is Montemayor. There should be a block in the back, and it is. This one's going to be coming back. Montemayor breaks away all the way down to the five into the end zone for a touchdown. But there's going to be a block in the back called right around the 40. This one's going to be coming back. You saw the block in the back. There's the call. So the touchdown will be called back. Just for a moment there, the general fans thought they had themselves a touchdown, and Montemayor thought she had her second touchdown of the afternoon, but the penalty will offset the touchdown, and generals will hit the reset button. Ball placed at the 35, which is essentially the five-yard line. It's marked at the 35 technically, but again, they're playing on a half field here. We'll call it the five-yard line. Deep in their own territory are the Generals. Plenty of time left in this one. Rios back at quarterback. To her left is Roland. She had the pick six earlier in the half to put the Generals ahead 20 to 13 then the Empire answering with a touchdown of their own they trail by one and here comes Rios running right into our kitchen sink there <laughs> it's 
So Rios showing off the speed there, calling her own number. That's about as close as we've gotten. We are just a couple of feet away from the playing field. We are on the sideline, literally on the sidelines. Fourth and short coming up. And it's going to be a false start on Lori Goddess out of the right guard. Rios gives the handoff to Roland and she'll be met back at the line of scrimmage. If anything, she may have lost a yard. And again, the clock continuing to run. 12 minute quarters, a running clock until you reach the last five minutes of the second and fourth quarter. Clock will then be stopped. 20 to 19 generals with the lead. Rios out of the shotgun with two receivers to her left. Rios looking back to pass, gonna fire one deep over the middle looking for Garza and the pass is incomplete. Selena Garza, who opened the scoring in this one early in the first quarter, was the intended receiver. Good run. General is looking to extend their one point lead. Rios will fake the handoff. She's running to her left. Tries to bounce it to the outside. And Walford with a good open field tackle. Third down coming up for the Generals. So week one of XFFL action. The Extreme Female Football League hosted by Texas Valley Sports. So the Generals is taking their time here getting the play call in. Yelly Rios, the quarterback. Angela Gomez started the game at quarterback. Started the entire first half, and Rios came out. Has been the quarterback ever since. This pass here to the outside, right in front of us. Andrea Salazar on the reception. Gonzalez on the tackle. That'll be a turnover on downs and a good tackle by Gonzalez. Yeah. Already had two close calls. We've had two close calls here. We've been lucky. That was our second close call there from taking a taking a hit here on the sideline. Hopefully that's not the case. Matt at the line of scrimmage. 
was Amber Leal, the defensive end. No running room there. Second down coming up. There comes Daisy Ramirez again with a big tackle in the open field and it'll be a big loss. Third and long coming up. Gonzalez never had a shot. Daisy Ramirez has been a force for the Generals on defense. Approaching five minutes. Be ready, D, be ready. We're approaching the five minute mark here in the fourth quarter and what that means is that the clock will then stop. Now a timeout taken by the Empire. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take a timeout up here. You're watching Real Sports Live. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. At San Benito Vision Source, the optometry staff works around your busy schedule and take the time to answer your questions and concerns prior to a visit. Dr. Jaime Rodriguez and Dr. Laura Loki offering full vision examinations, diagnostics, and treatment of an array of eye diseases and conditions to keep your eyes healthy. Call the friendly staff today with questions or schedule a consultation. San Benito Vision Source. Hacienda Ford. Hacienda has it. Has what? Low monthly payments, a friendly buying process, and customer service like no other. It's simply a different way. It's a car.